Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Clashes between Israeli protesters and police in Jerusalem Tel Aviv Jerusalem Israeli police on Wednesday fired stun grenades and water cannons at protesters blocking a highway in Tel Aviv, while protesters tussled with police near Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's private residence in Jerusalem. As weeks of anti-government protests began, a spate of unusually intense Israeli-Palestinian violence in the occupied West Bank has helped stoke tensions that raged radicals earlier this week. West Bank settlers through a Palestinian village are ripping the justice system and pushing the country toward autocracy. In Tel Aviv, crowds of protesters gathered outside a salon, where Netanyahu's wife Sarah had her hair done late Wednesday. In Tel Aviv, and late in Jerusalem, protesters shouted, where were you in Hawara? At police officers, referring to Sunday's settler killing spree, which went largely unchecked and with impunity. Everyone here is trying to keep Israel a democracy, and if the current government prevails, we fear we will no longer be a democracy or a free country, said Ariana Shapira, a protester in Tel Aviv. As a woman, as a mother, I am very afraid for my family and my friends. Critics, including influential business leaders, former military officers, academics and economists, say the plan will undermine the country's system, and checks and balances, and reduce power in the country. Prime Minister S. Hans Focus. President Joe Biden has expressed concern about the program, and Israel's currency, the shekel, has fallen in value on concerns about capital flight. Netanyahu was at the center of a years-long political crisis in Israel, in which former allies turned against him and refused to sit in the government with him over his corruption allegations.